Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is Scent Control 101. Everything you need to know about scent control right after this. In the first video, we talked about washing and storing your clothes. So now I'm ready to go hunting. Here's the next step of the scent free process. I'm in my cabin. I go hunting from this cabin. I never bring food or anything like that in here. I have some granola bars and beers and water, different things like that that I use in here, but I'll never bring a meal in here during hunting season. I don't want to be exposed to any human odor. Before the hunt, I'll take a scent-free shower. I have towels that I wash in scent-free soap. I use scent-free soap. And to be honest, I don't let anybody in here that wears cologne or exposes my cabin to any human odor, okay? So after that, I'm grabbing my hunting gear. So as I'm getting ready here, I wanted to show you one thing. I have all my gear that I take into the woods in these containers too. And uh, one thing I wanted to highlight is I actually have separate hats that I wear. I wear this hat hunting, and then I have some extra hats in here, but if I'm just kind of hanging out, I'll wear a different hat. Maybe that's overkill. Some people might think that's a little too much, but these hats, you sweat a lot, you get all this human odor on your hat. So I think it's best to have hunting hats that you wear and you keep in scent free containers and then hats that you can wear out in the public too. If I'm hunting locally, I get dressed in this cabin and then I'll head out to the truck. I'll show you what I do before I get in the truck. I run my Ozonics in there to kill that human odor. And then if I'm traveling, I won't even put my camo on until I get to my hunting spot. So guys, come with me. We're headed to the truck and I'm gonna show you how I stay scent free all through the hunt and even after the hunt. Let's go. All right, just got to our uh, hunting spot here. So I actually, I let the ozone run while I'm in the truck too. Just kill any extra human odor. I'm really cautious about human odor. I think if you learn scent control, you will see more deer. You will be more successful in the woods. So. Everything is extremely important with scent control. So, all right. So I'll get all my stuff out of the truck. So before I even hit the woods, coming out here, I'm spraying down. This is Scent Thief Field Spray, whatever kind of field spray you like, but make sure before you get into the woods, you're spraying down. Just got up in my tree stand. What I like to do, once I'm up in the stand, I like to spray down one more time kind of spray the trees around me, get as much of this field spray out there as I can, little limbs, and then just kind of hanging on a limb somewhere. And I'll hunt, I'm hunting. Obviously I'm playing the wind. So if a lot of the deer I know are accessing the property from my left and the wind direction is blowing towards them, that's not a very favorable evening to hunt this stand. I'll get into more about wind direction, which is really important when it comes to scent control, but specifically in this video, I'm talking about preparation and care to stay scent free while you're hunting. So spray down in this tree every hour or so. I'll grab this, spray down again, and I just try to keep as much human odor as I can. And I actually use some lotion too that I have I'll put lotion on my face, scent-free lotion. Just try to keep all this sweat, all the odor off of me. That's what the deer smell. So remember that when you're hunting. So the gear is back in the truck. I'm headed home. All this camo is going back in scent-free containers. It won't be exposed to any human odor. And one other thing, a couple other things I'll never do. I won't fill up with gas in my camo and my hunting boots. I won't eat fast food, won't go into restaurants. Keep all that stuff out of your truck, keep it off your camo, and you'll see a lot more deer. This was Scent Control 101. Thanks for watching.